First in the spotlight tonight, Alison Zrada, a student from Reading. Her specialist subject is His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. Steve Lacey is a mortgage advisor from Corby. He's answering questions on the late, great Tony Hancock. Claudia Webbs, a customer supply executive from Dorset. Her subject, Eva Perron. And tonight's final contender, Shahab Mosavat, a company director from London on Muhammad Ali. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Four contenders sitting there contemplating that black chair, knowing they were about to face what is acknowledged to be the ultimate quizzing test of nerve and knowledge. Two minutes on their specialist subject and two and a half on general knowledge. All of it alone in the spotlight. Let's find out who copes best with the pressure and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Alison Zarada. Your occupation? Student. And your chosen subject? His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. In two minutes starting now, one of the central characters in the His Dark Materials series, Lyra Balaka, spent almost all of her childhood at the grandest and richest of all the colleges in Oxford. Which college? Jordan College. Yep. Will Parry first meets Lyra after he follows an animal through a hole in the fabric of the world. What animal? A cat. Yep. What creature is Lord Asriel's demon, Stelmaria, who is first encountered in the opening chapter of Northern Lights? A snow leopard. Yes. What Greek name is given to the compass-like device that the master of Jordan College gives to Lyra. She uses it to find truthful answers to her questions. Lithiometer. Yep. In which hotel in Nova Zembla is Lee Scoresby given information about Stanislav Grumman by the fur trader Sam Cancino and others in The Subtle Knife? Pass. What name is commonly given in Lyra's world to the elementary particles, also known as Ruzakov particles, that begin to collect around humans in great quantities as they reach adolescence? Dust. Yes. In the Amber Spyglass, Will challenges the King of the Bears to single combat. The bear refuses to fight when Will shows how easily his knife can cut through which part of his armour? Helmet. Yep. What type of beings are Balthamos and Baruch, who appear to Will at the end of the subtle knife and help him search for Lyra in the Amber Spyglass? Angels. Yes. The police don't find Lyra when she hides in a secret compartment on Mark Costa's narrow boat because the space is lined with a special material. What material? Cedarwood. Yeah. In the subtle knife, the city of Chittagatse is populated only by children because their parents have fled from creatures that feed on adults. What creatures? Spectres. Yes. Which priest reads the Elithiometer for the consistorial court of discipline? Fra Pavel. Yeah. Which powerful angel, who is the regent of the authority, was called Enoch when he was human? Metatron. Yep. In the amber spyglass, when Lyra is at the entrance to the land of the dead, a creature tears out a clump of her hair. What type of creature? A harpy. Yep. When they first meet in Northern Lights, Mrs Coulter tells Lyra that she spent three months studying the aurora on which island? Svalbard. Greenland. What is the name of the tower in Chittagatso where Lyra and Will retrieve the subtle knife with which Will is able to cut windows into other worlds? Tori Deli Angeli. Yes, or Tower of the Angels. You had uh, just one pass. The hotel in Nova Zembla was the Samersky Hotel. You've scored, Alison, 13 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Uh, Steve Lacey. Your occupation? Mortgage advisor. And your chosen subject? The life and career of Tony Hancock. Tony Hancock in two minutes. Here we go. Hancock's first public performance was in a production of the Gilbert and Sullivan Opera when he was a pupil at Dulston Court Prep School in Swanage. Which opera? The Gondoliers. Yes. Wally Stott's jaunty signature tune to Hancock's Half Hour was scored for which instrument? Uh, Chiba. Yes. Which comedian was Hancock's comic hero? Like Hancock, he was born in Birmingham and became an alcoholic. Sid Field. Yes. What expression of exasperation at the younger generation became Hancock's catchphrase in educating Archie? Flipping kids. Yes. What is the name of the unsuccessful variety show, fronted by Derek Roy, that Hancock was working on when he first met Ray Galton and Alan Simpson? They'd been brought in to write the final episodes. Happy Go Lucky. Yep. What was the name of Hancock's publicity agent who became his second wife? Freddie Ross. Yes. Who opened his revealing interview with Hancock on the face-to-face -face television series in 1960 with the question, are you in the mood to come clean? 
John Freeman. Yes. Hancock spent part of his RAF wartime service at Whig Bay, near a town that he called the Paris of West Scotland. Which town? Stranraer. Yep. In 1944, Hancock joined Number 9 Gang Show, one of the units that entertained serving troops, at which North African port did Hancock's company land at the start of a 12-month tour of duty? Tripoli. Algiers. In which episode of the television series Hancock does he play old Joshua Merriweather, a parody of the Archer's character Walter Gabriel? The Bowmans. Yes. What was the name of Hancock's younger brother who became his business manager after he parted company with Beryl Virtue in 1961? Their professional relationship lasted until 1964. Roger. Yep. What is the title of the final episode of Hancock's Half Hour? It was televised on the 30th of June, 1961. Son and Heir, uh, the successor. Yes, the succession, son and heir. On which 50s American pop idol was Hancock's crooner sketch originally based? Uh, pass. In 1963, Hancock appeared in a series of newspaper advertisements designed to soften the image of which controversial report on Britain's transport system? Beaching report. A beaching report. Beaching's axe, indeed, a lot of railway lines went. You had one pass. Johnny Ray was the American pop idol on whom Crooner was based. Uh, Steve, you have scored 12 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is... Claudia Webb. Your occupation? Customer supply executive. And your chosen subject? Ava Perron. Ava Perron in two minutes. Here we go. Ava Perron, first lady of Argentina, played a major role in the politics of her country. What surname, that of her biological father, did Maria Ava Ibargoren use prior to her marriage in 1945 to Colonel Juan Perón? Duarte. Yep. One of Ava's first public meetings with Juan Perón was in the city of San Juan at an event to raise funds for the victims of what natural disaster? Earthquake. Yep. A flagship youth welfare project built by Ava's Foundation for Underprivileged Children was named after which injured nurse? Florence Nightingale. Amanda Allen. Ava undertook a goodwill tour of Europe in 1947. How is this trip usually known? The Rainbow Tour. Yes, Ava caused a minor controversy when she wore an off-the-shoulder dress at Perron's inauguration banquet. What was the name of the senior churchman she sat next to? Pass. Which German-Argentine secretary did the Peronist Domingo Mercante played an important role as an advisor to Ava in her work at the Ministry of Labour? Um, pass. To which island in the Tigre Delta did she retreat with Perón prior to his arrest in the politically turbulent autumn of 1945? Uh, Boca? No, Tres Bocas. During the last weeks of her life in 1952, Eva was reportedly writing a book with what title? Mi Mesaje. Yes, my message. On which Buenos Aires thoroughfare did Eva and Juan Perón live in adjoining apartments in the early years of their relationship? Uh, the Calle... Posada? Yes, a Calle Posadas. Which title that reflected Ava's supposedly sacred place in the hearts of the Argentine people was she given by Congress in 1952, shortly before her death? Spiritual leader of the nation. Yes, what was the name of the Jesuit priest who served as Ava's confessor and confidant and accompanied her on her European tour? Pass. What was the title of the 1945 melodrama that was to be the last film which Ava appeared as an actress? It was released long after her death. Circus Cavalcade. The Prodigal Woman. Which prestigious honour was Ava presented with by General Franco of Spain at a ceremony in Madrid? The Order of Isabella the Catholic. Yes, the Great Cross of Isabella the Catholic, yes. You had um, three passes, Claudia. It was Father Benitez. That was the uh, Jesuit priest who served as her confessor. Isabel Ernst was the secretary to the Peronist Domingo Macante. And Cardinal Capello was the chap who sat next to her when she was wearing that... Um, off the shoulder dress. Those uh, three passes, Claudia, you have scored seven points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Shahab Mossavat. Your occupation? I'm a company director. And your chosen subject? The life and career of Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali in two minutes. Here we go. Ali was born Cassius Clay in 1942. At the age of 18, he won boxing gold at the Rome Olympics in which weight division? 
light heavyweight. Yep, when he was 12, he was encouraged to take up boxing by a police officer named Joe Martin after he threatened to find and punish a thief who had stolen what? His bicycle. Yes, what's the name of the village in Pennsylvania where Ali created a five-acre training camp in 1972? Deer Lake. Yep, who annoyed Ali before their fight in 1967 by refusing to call him by his Muslim name? In response, Ali taunted him during the fight by repeatedly shouting, what's my name? Ernie Terrell. Yeah. In March 1963, he won a narrow decision at Madison Square Garden. What was the name of his opponent? Joe Frazier. Doug Jones. In which country did Ali's last professional fight take place? He lost on points to Trevor Burbick. The Bahamas. Yep. After he performed poorly in an armed forces mental aptitude test in 1964, he told reporters, I said I was the greatest, not the... Smartest. Yes. When he fought George Foreman in the fight known as the Rumble in the Jungle, Ali used his famous rope-a-dope tactic until Foreman tired and then knocked him out. In which round? The eighth. Yep. In 1976, Ali fought a Japanese professional wrestler in Tokyo in a contest that was declared a draw. What was his name? Anthony Inoki. Yep. Who was the last boxer to be knocked down by Ali in a 1976 fight in Munich that was stopped in the fifth round? Richard Dunn. Yep. At which Olympic Games opening ceremony did Ali light the Olympic flame, even though by then he had Parkinson's syndrome? Atlanta. Yes. At which London football stadium did the second fight between Muhammad Ali and Henry Cooper take place in 1966? Arsenal Stadium, Highbury. Yep. What was the name of the doctor and corner man who worked with Ali from the early 1960s? season until 77 when Ali ignored his advice to retire after his punishing fight against Ernie Shavers. Ferdy Pacheco. Yeah. What was the title of the 1979 television miniseries in which Ali played Gideon Jackson, an ex-slave who becomes a US senator? Freedom Road. Yep. Ali's jaw was broken during a fight in 73. He won a rematch later that year against which opponent? Ken Norton. Is correct. No passes. You have 14 points. <laughs> So that's the end of that round, some very high scores. Let's have a look at all of them. In fourth place, seven points, Claudia Webb. Third place, 12 points, Steve Lacey. Second place, 13 points, Alison Zrada. First place, 14 points, Shahab Mossavat. And it is the general knowledge round now, of course. If there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. So let's get on with it and ask Claudia to join us again, please. And you start out with seven points, Claudia, but loads of time to catch up. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge questions. Here we go. Which Sheffield rock band's 95 number one hit album, Different Class, contains the top ten singles, Common People and Disco 2000? Pulp. Yep. The Vale of Pickering and the Vale of Mowbray are low-lying, fertile areas in which northern county? Uh, Yorkshire. North Yorkshire, yeah. Which entrepreneur's first business venture was a youth culture magazine called Student that he started after he dropped out of Stowe School at the age of 16? Um... Alan Sugar. Branson. What kind of American whiskey distilled from a mash that contains at least 51% maize is named after a county in Kentucky? Bourbon. Bourbon, yeah. The British architect, Sir Edward Lutyens, was responsible for designing much of an Asian capital city, including the Viceroy's house. Which city? Uh, Kuala Lumpur. Delhi, New Delhi. Which group of paranormal researchers returned to the screen in 2016 in the remake of a 1984 comedy film with women now in the main roles? Ghostbusters. Yes. Which country that neighbours Sweden has Swedish as one of its two official languages? Norway. Finland. In January 2017, the discovery of a new species of moth with a prominent crown of yellow scales was announced. After whom was it named? Queen Elizabeth. Donald Trump. <laughs> the companions of which biblical character were renamed Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego by the King of Babylon's Prince of Eunuchs? Pass. Which veteran Labour MP nicknamed the Beast of Bolsover has been suspended from Parliament on at least ten occasions, usually for the use of unparliamentary language? Um, pass. A rod made of a gemstone was an integral part of the first laser built in 1960 by Theodore Mayman. Which gemstone? 
Amethyst. Ruby, what word for a person who appears to be lifeless or totally lacking in independent judgment was originally the name of a snake god in West African and Haitian voodoo religion? Um... Inert. Zombie. Mm -hmm. In which Channel 4 comedy series first shown in 2000 does its creator, Dylan Moran, appear as a shop owner who hates his customers? Black Books. Black Books is correct. The name of which mountain in the Tibetan language is Chomolungma, which translates as Goddess Mother of the World? Mount Everest. Yep. In which sport have the Britons Judy Grinham, Anita Lonsborough and Rebecca Adlington all been Olympic champions? Swimming. Yep. What multi-purpose tool was perfected at the end of the 19th century by the cutler Carl Elsener? Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife is correct. Yep. You had two passes. Dennis Skinner is better known probably as the Beast of Bolsover. And uh, Chandra, Meshach and Abednego were companions of Daniel. You have scored, Claudia, a total now of 15 points. Thank you. Hello, Steve, again, please. And you start out with 12 points. Steve, let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. Which animal's burrow is known as a set? Badger. Yep. What title of respect given to a Jewish scholar or teacher of ritual comes from the Hebrew for my master? Rabbi. Yes. Whose poems, chiefly written in the Scottish dialect, were first published in Kilmarnock in 1786, after which he was taken up by fashionable Edinburgh society? Robbie Burns. Yep. What is the official designation of the motorway, also known as the Ross Spur, that leaves the M5 north of Tewkesbury and ends at Ross on Wye? Pass. The Denmark Strait separates Iceland from which larger island to the west? Greenland. Yes. Which British-born actor and playwright won the first of his two Best Supporting Actor Oscars for his role as the owner of a school for gladiators in Spartacus? Oliver Reed. Ustinov, Peter Ustinov. In art, what name of French origin is given to the flat board on which a painter lays out or mixes colours? Palette. Yep. Whom did Theresa May appoint as Lord Chancellor and Secretary of State for Justice in July 2016? She was the first woman to hold the office of Lord Chancellor. Uh, Justin Greenian. No, Liz Truss. A Wiener schnitzel consists of a cutlet of what meat coated with egg and breadcrumbs and then fried? Beal. Yep. Which group of Enid Blyton characters feature in a series of books for adults by Bruno Vincent with titles including Give Up the Booze, Go Gluten Free, Go on a Strategy, Away Day and Go Parenting? Famous Five. Yep. What is the name of the hymn by Henry Light that is traditionally sung before the FA Cup final? Abide with me. Yep. The former England cricket captains Douglas Jardine, Peter May and Alex Stewart all played their club cricket for which county? Middlesex. Sorry. ADSL is a popular form of internet connection. DSL stands for Digital Subscriber Line. What does the A stand for? Automated. Asymmetric. What was the nationality of Robert Edwin Peary, who led the first expedition believed to reach the North Pole in 1909? Norwegian. American. What is the name of the internationally renowned School of the Performing Arts in New York, opened in 1905 and renamed after the cotton merchant who bequeathed money to it in the 1920s? Smith. The Juilliard. The title character of a 2016 Disney animated film is the impetuous and strong-willed daughter of the chieftain of a Polynesian island. Which film? Mona. Yes, Moana. Which wingless parasitic insect found on humans and animals have two main types known as chewing or biting and sucking? Tick. Lice. Which country was part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands from 1815 to 1830 when it gained its independence? Luxembourg. No, uh, it was Belgium. Belgium. Yep. Uh, one pass, Steve. That um, motorway known as the Rosper is the M50. OK. And you have scored 21 points in total. Okay. <laughs> and now, Alison, again, please. And uh, you start out, Alison, with uh, 13 points. 21 is the score to beat at the moment. So, here we go. The pop bands The Cause, Westlife and U2 all come from which country? Ireland. Yep. In golf, what term is used for a score of one under par for a hole? Eagle. Birdie. Which bridge was rebuilt as a tourist attraction in Lake Havasu City, Arizona in 1968 after it was bought from the UK and shipped across the Atlantic? Pass. Auscultation is the medical examination of internal body parts by what means, often with the help of a stethoscope? 
uh, tapping. Listening or hearing, who topped both the UK and the American singles charts in January 2017 with Shape of You? Pass. Which city was designated the capital of Bulgaria in 1879, the year after its liberation by Russian troops from Ottoman rule? Sophia. Yes. The 2016 television miniseries Dark Angel starred Joanne Froggart as a Victorian serial killer. Which one? Jack the Ripper. Mary Ann Cotton, The Strand, Whitehall and The Mile all converge at which London Square? Trafalgar. Yep. Norman Willis, John Monks and Brendan Barber have been successive Secretaries General of which organisation? The UN. The TUC. Two three-letter exclamations popularised by the television series The Simpsons have appeared in major dictionaries. One is meh, what is the other? Do. Yes. Peaches for Monsieur le Curé is the third novel by a writer set in the fictional French village of lonsguenay soutane where she set her first successful novel. Which writer? Agatha Christie. John Harris. In which American city did William Waldorf, later the first Viscount Astor, build a luxurious Waldorf Hotel in 1890? New York. Yep. In Shakespeare's Othello, what is the name of Iago's wife who is stabbed by him in Act 5? Amelia. Yes. The name of which nocturnal burrowing animal an early entry in most dictionaries means earth pig in Afrikaans? Aardvark. Yep. What is the title of the 2000 film about the wealthy Wall Street serial killer Patrick Bateman, played by Christian Bale? American Psycho. Yes. Who was proclaimed Queen of England on the 10th of July, 1553, only to be replaced nine days later by Henry VIII's daughter, Mary Tudor? Jane Grey. Yep. Chateau d'Iquem is the most celebrated and expensive variety of which sweet white wine from Bordeaux? Pass. What name is given to a narrow window topped by a pointed arch typical of the early English style of Gothic architecture? Pass. Green Thursday, Sheer Thursday and Holy Thursday are names for the day in Holy Week that commemorates Christ's institution of the Eucharist. How is this day most commonly known in Britain? Maundy Thursday. Yes, in music, what term, literally meaning in chapel style, is used for unaccompanied choral singing? Um... Pass. Ah, oh, you'll oh. be so cross. A cappella. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from that, when I was in, you had four passes. Chateau de Chem is a Sauterne. The Lancet window, that's the name given to that narrow window topped by a pointed arch and all that. London Bridge was rebuilt in uh, Lake Havasu in 1968. They thought they'd bought Tower Bridge, apparently, at the time. Anyway, Ed Sheeran topped the chart with Shape of You. <laughs> Those five passes, Alison, you have scored 23 points. And finally, Shahab, again, please. And you start out with 14 points. And the score to beat, if you're to get through to the semi-finals, is 23. So, here we go. Two and a half minutes. Which island off the south coast of Britain is separated from the mainland by stretches of water called the Solent and Spithead? Isle of Wight. Yep. Which fictional character's writing has first appeared in diary form in a newspaper column? Renée Zellweger then played her in a series of films. Bridget Jones. Yes, according to Hot Chocolate's top five UK hit single in 1982, it started with a... Kiss. Yep. What name is commonly given to the members of the Women's Social and Political Union led by Mrs Pankhurst, who adopted militant tactics to secure the right of women to vote? The suffragettes. Yes. Puccini's unfinished last opera, Turandot, is set in which country? China. Yes. What is the name of the former pub in Grasmere that was William Wordsworth's first adult home in the Lake District? The Daffodil. The Dove Cottage. The Liverpool-born world cruiserweight boxing champion Tony Ballou plays pretty Ricky Conlon in which 2015 film, the seventh in the Rocky series? Rocky Barbell. Uh, Creed. What name is given to small pieces of pork rind cooked until crisp and often sold as bar snacks? Uh, scratching. Yeah. Which novelist is the sister of the 1990 Booker Prize winner A.S. Byatt? Iris Murdoch. Margaret Drabble. What celestial objects are named after the astronomers Alan Hale and Thomas Bopp and Yuji Hayakutake? Comets. Yep. Who resigned as the leader of UKIP after the party's poor performance in the 2017 election? Paul Nuttall. Yes. Which television series first shown in 1967 was co-created by its star Patrick McGowan and filmed in the village of Port Myrion? The Prisoner. Yep. What name is given to the group of Swiss mountains that lies north of the Upper Rhone Valley, whose principal peaks include the Eiger and the Jungfrau? Alp. 
Now, the Bernays Oberland, or the Bernays Alps, which work attributed to Homer tells the story of the adventures of one of the heroes of the Trojan War on his journey home? The Odyssey. Yes. What was the famous three-word battle cry uttered by the Texan soldiers at the Battle of San Jacinto of April 1836, where Texas won its independence from Mexico? For the Alamo. Remember the Alamo. Which blind soul singer who began recording as a 12-year-old was born Stevland Jodkins in May 1950? Stevie Wonder. Yes. What name is commonly given to the jointed woody stem of various giant reeds or grasses, such as bamboo and the sugar plant? Grasses. Cane. What was the name of the electrically powered three-wheeler pedal car introduced by Sir Clive Sinclair in 1985? C5. Yes. In cricket, who took over from MS Dhoni as India's test captain in 2015 and as the country's limited overs captain in 2017? Surav Ganguly. No, it's Virat Kohli. However, doesn't matter because you have no passes and a total now of 26 points. At the end of the contest, let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, with 15 points, Claudia Webb. Third place, 21 points, Steve Lacey. Second place, 23 points, Alison Zrada. First place with 26 points, Shahab Mosavata. Which means that Shahab is tonight's winner, and he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. And if you'd like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter, at mastermindquiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.